Whether you are looking for a festive fall snack or a great party treat, candied apples are a wonderful dessert to make. The combination of a crunchy candy shell and sweet, crisp apple makes for a delicious snack. Knowing how to make pink candied apples is a great hack for your next party. Though traditional candied apples are red, these pink ones are fun and cute. They are great for birthday parties, baby showers, or any celebration. Both kids and adults will love these adorable and tasty candied apples. What you will need. Ingredients. Six small to medium apples, washed, dried, and stems removed. Six candy apple sticks. Three cups white sugar. Half cup light corn syrup. One cup water. Two teaspoons pink gel food coloring. One teaspoon vanilla extract. Two tablespoons white food coloring. Step-by-step -step instructions. Step 1. Remove the stems of the apples and thoroughly wash them. Place the clean apples on a sheet pan sprayed with cooking spray to allow them to dry. Step 2. In a medium saucepan, combine the sugar, corn syrup, white food coloring, and pink gel food coloring using a wooden spoon. Cook the mixture on medium heat until it boils. Step 3. When the mixture begins to boil, stick a candy thermometer on the side of the pan. Be sure that the thermometer is well in the mixture, but not touching the bottom. The mixture should reach 302 degrees Fahrenheit. This may take up to 20 minutes, but the mixture does not need to be stirred in the process. Step 4. Once the mixture has reached 302 degrees Fahrenheit, remove it from the heat. Use a rubber spatula to stir in the vanilla extract, making sure it is fully incorporated. Step 5. Carefully dip the apples into the sugar mixture. Swirl them around to make sure they are fully coated, allow the excess sugar mixture to drip off. Place the apples on the sheet pan to allow them to fully dry. Be certain to be careful when dipping the apples, as the sugar mixture will be hot. It is best to tilt the pan to make it easier to dip. Tips and Tricks Candied apples can be kept covered at room temperature for two to three days. Make sure they are kept in a cool, dry area, and be sure to avoid placing them in the sun. Avoid storing them in the fridge, as this can cause the candy coating to become sticky and messy. Granny Smith apples are one of the most popular choices for making candied apples. They have a slight tart flavor that pairs well with the sweetness of the candy covering. In addition, they are also firm enough to hold the weight of the candy shell. Other apples used for candied apples include Fuji, Gala, Honey Crisp, and Pink Lady. Make sure to use fresh, firm apples, preferably free of bruises or marks, for the best results. It is also important to make sure the apples are completely dry before dipping them in the candy mixture to ensure that it sticks. A common issue that often happens when making candied apples is air bubbles forming on the surface of the candy shell. To help prevent any bubbles from forming, be sure to thoroughly wash them off. The wax covering that is added to apples is often the culprit to the candy not sticking or bubbling. To ensure you get all the wax off, you can place them in a large pot of boiling water that has 1-2 to two tablespoons of baking soda. Leave them in there for one minute, turning them to ensure all sides get covered. After they are done, dry them off with a paper towel and let them air dry if needed before dipping. If you liked this video don't forget to like and subscribe.